Hello, uh, this is Tom. Uh, I like pens. Today, let's take a look at these pens. This is uh, a Mont Blanc uh, 149. And uh, this is a Lamy 2000. And uh, this is also Lamy. This is, uh, we can see Lamy here. And uh, this is Lamy, I, I think it's called Vista. Basically, it's Safari. It's a demonstrator. So they call it as uh, uh, Vista. And this is a Pelican pen. I think it's, uh, the model is M205. That five means uh, this silver color. And uh, I think it's also uh, called a demonstrator pen and it's demonstrator blue. And this is also a uh, Pelican. This is uh, uh, 400, M400. And uh, this color, I think they call it a tortoise shell brown. And this is a vintage um, Pelican. The model should be 140, 140. So the, the click is not uh, tight. And the nib is uh, uh, different with others. It has a uh, oblique nib. I'm not sure if you can see it clearly. Uh, so the nib uh, is uh, special, so it has an angle. These are all expensive pens, okay, except uh, this one. This one is also cheap. And uh, this one uh, is also uh, made by Pelican, but uh, it's a cheap version. It's called a uh, uh, Pelican. Pelicano Junior, Junior for students, I think. But it's also a very good pen. Okay, uh, okay. The, 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 these two pens uh, use ca uh, cartridges or converters, like uh, this one. So, the, this use uh, international cartridge. And we can uh, we can see although this is this is a, a cheap inch level fountain pen, it's not expensive, but the nib is also beautiful and actually it's a very good writer. This is Lamy. Vista and uh, it use Lamy's cartridge. It's uh, not a uh, Lamy has its own standard. And this is the ink window. Uh, is in this on, on this line on this line. So, but but because this is a demonstrator, so this ink window is not necessary. Actually, we can see th see through the barrel and see the cartridge. Okay, so next uh, let's uh, have some writing sample. Let's begin with this one. In <laughs> the most most expensive one, so it's okay. Mount blank one forty nine fountain pen, and uh, the nib size I think it's five. Mm. Okay, so the ink color is green. It, 
it's it, it's a nice pen and it's a smooth and uh, it's also uh, wet it, it it puts down uh, enough ink so smooth and wet okay so this is a uh, uh, a good pen But this pen is quite big. Let's compare this with Lamy's one. So Lamy's one is a standard one. We can we can think it's a standard one. So we can see this 149 is a, a lot fatter and a little uh, taller. Okay, because I have a more than one uh, Lamy 2000 fountain pens. Uh, so I use the, this tape to uh, indicate the color of the ink. So this is uh, Lamy 2000 fountain pen. Uh, this is also fountain pen, of course. And the, the nib size, I think it's extra fine. The color, this is a Lamis uh, So it's also a blue color, but a, not, not, not a regular blue uh, It has a name, but I do not remember it now uh, let, Let's call it a, a light blue It's also very smooth and wet, and uh, it's a nice pen. Actually, uh, uh, I used uh, uh, this pen a lot. Uh, I still use this pen. This is uh, uh, a very good pen, not uh, expensive, as expensive as, uh, uh, as this one, but uh, uh, for its price, it's a very good pen, actually. Yeah, if you can afford $100 and a little more, maybe 120 to 140 you can get uh, such a pen. Sometimes you can get it uh, maybe around 100 And uh, uh, for, for 100 I think this is uh, uh, just a very good pen, a very good pen. Uh, it's worth its uh, uh, price. Uh, these pens uh, all have a uh, have a uh, piston feelers. Just uh, uh, we can rotate here, rotate here, and uh, to draw ink. Next uh, is this pelican. This pelican. M. Two zero five. This is also fountain pen, and this is uh, this is also uh, EF. I don't I, I don't know if you can see it or not. Okay, <laughs> it's also EF. The nib has a uh, uh, ink residue on it, and uh, this ink is. Uh, <laughs> uh, famous for maybe for 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 this property, uh, this ink will color the nib. And uh, what's this uh, ink? I think this ink is noodleless base state blue. Actually, I add some water to this ink, I think. Um, and uh, <laughs> Why do I add water to it? I think uh, it performs better after adding some water to it. At least uh, to um, uh, maybe uh, for, for my paper. Uh -huh. 
be maybe for your paper you don't need to add water and next one it's also a pelican one pelican this is m400 this is also a fountain pen and they call this a um, tortoise shell brown so i also used a uh, uh, brown uh, brown color ink and uh, the size is f for this one and uh, it has a brown ink but i don't remember the the brand of this ink so uh, this is also smooth but not as smooth as uh, this pelican m205 and uh, of course it's also a wet pen it has more feedback and uh, yeah not as smooth as this one but but uh, this neighbor is still made of steel this neighbor is made of uh, uh, 14 uh, carat 14k uh, gold it has a beautiful nib but uh, uh, in terms of smoothness i think this m25 that is uh, still nib is better it's smoother Actually, I like uh, this M205 better than this one. Although this one is more expensive than this one. And this is a vintage, uh, vintage pen. It's also Pelican. This is uh, one 140 this is a fountain pen you can see because of uh, this uh, oblique nib uh, there's some line variation the nib size let me see i don't know if you can see it or not okay maybe they do not have the, that fine or not so this is lamis blue ink And uh, <laughs> again, it's smooth uh, and it's wet. But uh, uh, among all these pens, this pen is uh, smooth, smoothest. This M two O five, this steel nib. This this pen also has a fourteen K nib. And this is a Lamy Lamy Vista and uh, but uh, maybe uh, okay lamy waste this is a fountain pen the nib is f and this is uh, this has uh, lamy's black blue or blue black i don't know black blue blue black they say blue black it, the, the, this nib of course is a steel uh, but uh, yeah very good very, very good steel it, it's, it, it's cheap um, a very good pen But at the beginning, actually, I'm not very used to this kind. This the this section it has a shape, uh, but uh, after using uh, it for for some time, now I'm used to it. I think uh, the this kind of a uh, uh, section is okay. Uh, maybe it's good, but uh, I still like round the section better. And finally, we have this. Pelly 
can let's see this uh, click Cano Junior Junior this is also phantom pen and uh, the nib size there's no nib size here I think uh, it's uh, fine or medium. Maybe let's, let's say it's fine or medium. I, I don't know. And this ink, let me see. That's this one. I, I, I do not remember the brand of this uh, cartridge. Uh, maybe it's that uh, uh, who is the maker? That, Four zero zero one. It's it's a Pelican's four four hundred and one ink. I think. Yeah, I like this ink. Uh, I also like this ink, at least with this pen. Uh, so, uh, this nib is steel. This nib is also steel. This nib is gold gold steel gold gold uh, so the, these two pens are cheap and these pens are expensive But uh, I think they are all very good writers. They are all very good writers. Uh, which pen do I use uh, most? Uh, it depends. It depends. Currently, I just like uh, this pen with this color. And uh, I also like this pen, actually. With, the, with that ink. Um, previously, I use uh, this pen a lot. I use this pen a lot. Uh, it's it's a very very good pen. This pen is a very good pen. Uh, but uh, <laughs> Lamy, I think, uh, has a problem. Uh, <laughs> that kind of appearance uh, problem. This Lamy. Uh, uh, for, for we only have uh, one choice of the color basically this black i think they also made uh, uh, some limited uh, edition uh, I, I i i saw some uh, blue color uh lamy 2000 but um, that that's unusual and uh, maybe also expensive uh, the paint is very good first rate and uh, relatively cheap um, but but, but uh, as I have said I have several of uh, Lamy uh, 2000 and uh, they have different nibs mm, but I <laughs> after with with caps on I cannot distinguish them that's why I use uh, this kind of a tape to distinguish them uh, <laughs> it's okay uh, it looks okay but uh, certainly it's not beautiful uh -huh. mm. yeah why don't they make oh i think all other uh pain makers um just uh, uh, make a lot of uh, uh paints with different colors basically they're the same pain they are same the, the same pen uh, inside they are all the same but they just change the uh, uh, the, the, the barrels the, especially the color of the barrels like a sailor uh, like all three major Japanese pen maker uh, sailor pilot and the platinum they will uh, they make a first rate uh, nibs and uh, just inside the part is first rate, but they also change the colors uh, a lot, maybe every year. 
um, but the Lamy uh, is special. Uh, they just uh, use, basically use this uh, black color. Uh, that's also good. That's also good. <laughs> basically, we need to um, uh, do something like this to distinguish them. I I I like the. After some time, I think I will just uh, will use this pen again. Uh, and uh, so, as I have said, uh, although this uh, Pelican M two O five is has a steel nib, but uh, I think this is this steel nib is the smooth smoothest one among all the pens. Um, and uh, yeah, so Pelican really uh, made uh, make a very good uh, steel nib, at least on this one. This is the smallest one I have uh, used. And I also like this Noodles Base State Blue uh, Ink. This this blue ink is the Maybe I cannot. I shouldn't say it's the best blue ink, uh, or maybe not, I shouldn't say this blue blue color is the best one. But uh, of course, it's one of the best one. Uh, it's just the bright, uh, brightest blue. Uh, but but the the things like this. Uh, if I just uh, write with this uh, ink a lot, and I always see this blue color, then <laughs> after some time, I will, I would want, like to see other blue colors like this one, like this one, uh, and also like this one. Uh, just just regular blue colors. I, I so uh, there's no best color. Once you think one color is the best color and uh, if you continue to use it then soon I think no, not for a long time you will think uh, this color is of course not the best one you, you, you want to maybe it's still one of the best ones but you, you need to see other colors okay So actually, I have another uh, M two O five, and this one's new. And uh, I still have uh, the the this tag on, and it says demonstrator uh, and uh, M two O five. And then this M, I think, it means the nib is M nib is M. So this is a new one. Um, but uh, but uh, this the, the, this the, these parts are different. The top of the caps they are different, and the other parts are the same. Uh, so yeah, so this is a piston one, and we can move the piston freely. Okay. Okay. So, uh, all the pens are good pens. Of course, this one is a good pen. This one is 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 a good pen. And uh, recently, I uh, like these two pens uh, most. This one, smoothest. And this one, although it's cheap, actually it writes, it's cheap, it, but it, it writes uh, as well as the, the expensive uh, pens. Um, so that, that's a good thing. If you like fun pens, you just buy, <laughs> I, I think, a Pelicano uh, fountain pen. Uh, it serves very very well. It it just, uh, in my opinion, I, I think it just uh, writes as well as each of these ones. 
as well as this uh, most expensive uh, fountain pen. Uh, okay, this is uh, uh, today's review. Thanks for watching.